I am a I am a full time assistant manager with Dollar Tree, and um, mother of three. Mother of three beautiful children. <laughs> um, I will be cooking tonight with Charlotte. And I originally just got into Tupperware as like a personal shopper. <laughs> I did join for the $15 and then I just started buying the product and I just really loved it. So I was like, well, I want to stop spending my own money. Maybe I could earn some more money to buy more Tupperware. <laughs> so that is where I am right now. And um, I don't know. Today we're going to be making omelets and we're going to be using the breakfast maker. We were going to use the smooth chopper, but I can't find it. <laughs> Someone lost it. <laughs> Definitely not me. So, Charlotte, you want to come? Are you ready to help me put down the balloon? We're going to turn the camera around. All righty. So, as you can see, we have our little setup here. Uh, we already pre-mixed our eggs, but we did chop up some onion. So do you want to put your onion in the eggs or in the breakfast maker? All right. We use the little cups, which is great if you're like doing omelets for a bunch of people. You can sort all your toppings and then people can pick their toppings. She's going to add a little salt and pepper. These these cups are the big one that I'm using is from the breakfast collection and I really love that because they come with the seals. So you have that seal on it. And why are we sealing up the eggs because now we're going to shake it up. To make it fun for the kids. Sounds like my stomach when I filled it up too much. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh. Bubbly. And now she's just gonna pour it. We took the inserts out. We're just gonna pour it in the breakfast make. Me wants to add a bit more. She's gonna add some more onion. Don't want too much the other onion or spicy. Okay. Go ahead and open up the microwave. What I love about this is it never gets too hot. So I'm comfortable with her or my six year old. She has to use a stool to do it. Use it in the microwave. And we microwaved it for three minutes. It might be more like two and a half. We're going to check it because it does expand. We tested this out beforehand. <laughs> and so we knew it about, yeah. uh, I think on the breakfast maker, the longest you can do it is that with a 900 watt, it's five minutes. So uh, Jassy, will you introduce this to your family while we're this waiting is, for that to cook? Yes, this is Charlotte. She is my middle child. She is 10. And she's going to be a fifth grade grader in the fall. Then I have my oldest. He's 12. He's not. A second year middle schooler. Well, yes, he's a seventh grader. And um, his name is Tully. And then I have my six-year-old, which if she'll come in, she loves to be on camera. She's Mackenzie. And she just finished her kindergarten year. <laughs> Wow, big milestones. Wow. Oh, and we're in Virginia. I don't think I said where we were. <laughs> so we're out in Virginia, are you? Northern Virginia. I'm in Bristol. Well, this is exciting. And um, so you're making breakfast pretty easy these days, right? It's yeah. Thing. Um, you could even take this to work. Um, but having kids in the kitchen, being able to teach them how to make their own oh breakfast God. is a really wonderful thing. It's, um, it is, because then I get to sleep in a little later on Saturday, because I'm not worried about them. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So um, why don't we do this? Um, how much time is left? And we'll see, do we want to come back to you or do we want to... Um, uh, it's about a minute left. If we want to come back, I can show a picture of the 
Final then that's product. what we'll do. That way you can pull it out because uh, sometimes in the microwave, guys, it really depends um, on how many watts and how your microwave is performing. So a two to three minute mm -hmm. window is always good. The great news about uh, microwave cooking is if you open up and it's not done, add another 10 seconds, right? Don't do yeah, a minute. I always do that. like that. So making <laughs> sure you just do a little bit more. So um, Jasmine, thank you. We're excited and it's very nice to meet Mackenzie and Charlotte, um, your cooks in the kitchen. Yay, that yeah. is awesome. That's really great. Well, um, let's jump over to our next trainer tonight. This is really fun. Uh, we're gonna go to Laura Casey and Laura's kind of been around for a few years and Laura does a lot of cooking with her grandchildren. So Laura, are you there? <laughs> Sorry, we didn't have our mic on. That's okay. Hi. So tell us a little bit about you. I know you and Cindy knows you, but why don't you tell us a little bit about you and then who is that cooking with you tonight? I'm Taylor, her grandchild. This is Kaylee. She's eight and she loves to cook. Anytime I'm in the kitchen, she wants to be in here. Excellent. So she's been cooking with the Tupperware for what, two years now? She's been helping me do it. Um, I live in Cleveland, Texas. I've been in Tupperware for four, I think four years. And I too signed up as a personal shopper. And then I wanted the discount and then decided to start selling it. I love it. Well, this is pretty exciting time. So what are you making for us tonight? We're gonna make a cake in the stack poker. We're gonna use the whipping mix to mix everything up and then <laughs> put it in the microwave in our stack cooker. That's fine. Well, now she's we gotta go wash her hands. I think we have a little bit of background noise. It might be from your house, Laura. I can't tell. One yes. second. Okay. <laughs> it's funny because background noise can come in too, and that's why we're kind of uh, particular about it. The Zoom recording, uh, wherever you have it, will kind of take it to you and bring yeah. it to the speaker. So we always try to make sure we got a clean recording. So, all right.